I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're making my Natty Proto's potato salad. This potato salad is one that my grandmother on my father's side used to make. And it's just something that has always stuck with me as one of my favorite potato salads. I know everyone has potato salad they love, but this one happens to be my favorite. For my potato salad, this is what you're gonna need. Eggs, yellow or Yukon gold potatoes, prepared mayonnaise, uh, green olives that have been pitted, and white vinegar. I wanna take a second to talk about mayonnaise. I like Hellman's prepared mayonnaise. This is the standard or the staple for where I live. Now, there's people in other places of the country, in other places of the world, this isn't the standard. I like Hellman's. Use whatever mayonnaise makes you happy. Just don't use Miracle Whip, because Miracle Whip is trash. Fight me. Let's talk about potatoes. I like a yellow potato or a Yukon gold potato. I do not want to use red skin potatoes for this. I feel like they have too much moisture inside and I don't like the texture the salad has. I also don't like to use a russet potato because I feel a little dry and they tend to soak up a lot of mayonnaise uh, and they kind of get crumbly. So I don't like either of those. Get yourself like that nice happy medium. Uh, Yukon gold or yellow potato works best. I wanna get the potatoes on and boiling and I usually pick potatoes that are close to the same size. I want them to cook at the same rate. So if you have big ones and little ones, I separate the little ones or I separate the big ones and use potatoes the same size. I have my potatoes in the pot. I also have my eggs here. And what I'm gonna do is, what my grandmother used to do is put these in about halfway through the cooking time of the potatoes so that they both finish at the same time. So let's put this over at the stove and get this cooking. Potatoes are covered with water. I'm gonna let these come to a boil, then lower it to a simmer. I don't want these to boil away because when potatoes boil, they tend to break up. And when they start to get tender, I will take my eggs and drop them in. So I just put my knife in and my potatoes are starting to get tender on the outside. So that's time to add the eggs. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm just gonna add my eggs into the water. We probably have another about 10 minutes for that. So eggs go in and we let it go. Normally when potatoes are cooked all the way through, they don't grab the knife at all, but these are perfectly tender. They're still a little firm in the middle. I don't want them to be totally falling apart. Let's bring them over to the board and strain this out. Potatoes and eggs are done. I'm gonna strain them out onto my sheet tray. And I'm gonna let them cool for a little bit before I slice into them. Um, I don't wanna burn my hands, so I'm gonna let everything cool and then we'll peel and cut them for the salad. All right, put the eggs, put the potatoes out, and just let them cool for maybe about 10 minutes and then we'll get into slicing them. Part of the reason I left the skin on is not only is it easy, but when you leave the skin on the potatoes, they don't absorb any water, and uh, I want this to be nice and firm for the finished salad. Potatoes have cooled for about 10 minutes. They're still hot. Uh, one thing I like to do is get a towel, right? And I'm gonna peel them while they're on the towel rather than holding it in my hand. Peel it back. I like to use a towel so I don't burn my hands. Uh, I, I honestly, I, even though I have chef hands, this is way too hot. So use a paper towel, use a kitchen towel. And I'm gonna do it granny style. I'm not gonna use the cutting board. I'm gonna cut it over the bowl. I don't think my grandmother ever used a chef knife. She had one, but it really was really just like maybe to open stuff with, like cans and stuff. So you cut it in the towel, or you peel it in the towel, right? Get any blemishes out, right? Get rid of all the skin. Cut your blemishes out, right? And then you can just take it, cut it down the middle, right? Cut it down the middle again, and just cut it into your slices, your chunks, that is. Right, cut it down the middle, cut it into your chunks. Okay? And then so on and so forth. Do the rest of your potatoes. So for potato salad, my grandmother usually make it, you know, for barbecues or picnics or whatever. Uh, I just remember more of my mom taking this over and making this. Uh, and my dad doesn't like mayonnaise, which is really funny. So this was definitely not made for my father, you know, the prodigal son. <laughs> Uh, and the potatoes are still hot, so they'll continue to cook just a little more. This is why I take them out a little early, so that they're not totally um, soft and mushy. This potato salad isn't good if your potatoes are soft and mushy. At this point, my potatoes are still a little warm. I'm gonna add a little salt, season them up lightly, 
I'm gonna also add a little white vinegar. I like to add my white vinegar when my potatoes are warm. They just tend to soak it up a little bit better. And I'm not adding a lot. I'm just adding a little for a little bit of like sharpness or flavor. Give them a toss. After I took my eggs out of the water, I let them sit for about seven or eight minutes. And then I plunge them in some cold water just to cool them down. I leave them in this cold water. I like to peel my eggs in water or under running water because they're easier to peel. I always have trouble peeling hard boiled eggs. I don't know why. Everyone has a secret. Tell me your secret and I'll try it out. Put it in the description, but every time is a crapshoot with me with eggs. So I just kind of like get the skin off, leave it on a towel to dry it off. But I always find peeling eggs under the water or under running water is the way to go. Make sure there's no shell on it. If you do have shell, pick it off. Basically, I'm trying to get water between the membrane of the egg and the egg itself. And that usually helps take the skin off really easy. I dry them on a towel and then we can assemble our salad. The eggs are peeled. I have my potatoes. And this is my trick for getting those eggs cut up really easily, is I get one of these resting racks. I'm gonna save one egg for garnish. And the rest of the eggs I'm gonna put on my resting rack and push it through, right? This is the quick way to do egg salad or to chop eggs up, right? I'm gonna save the one and I'm just gonna slice this one and put it on top as a garnish. But that's look how easy it is. If you do egg salad, you do potato and egg salad, that's the way you do it. Eggs are chopped. I'm gonna add some of my olives in. I'm also gonna save a few for garnishes. Uh, I'm gonna hit this with a, just a little more salt, right? I did put a little salt on earlier. Right, and then I'm just gonna put some mayonnaise on. And the amount of mayonnaise is all up to your preference. So I'm gonna go fairly heavy right now because while the potatoes are still warm, they will soak up some of that mayonnaise. Um, I'm gonna leave it on the side just in case I need a little more. And I'm gonna give it a mix. Mix it up real good. Oh yeah, that looks good. If there's any big chunks of potatoes that are stuck together, break them up. Oh yeah, that looks like it is the real deal. I'm gonna add just a little more mayonnaise. Just another big splooch of mayonnaise. That looks just about right. Let's plate it up and give it a try. Of course I'm gonna plate it in a large bowl because it is potato salad. You take it to a party with you. Um, some olives on top. The olives on top are for people to know that there's actually olives in here. Some people can't stand olives. Uh, my egg, I'm just gonna take this baby and slice it. Again, the egg is kind of there just to signify that there is eggs in here. Most people uh, will notice that because of the yellow color. May I say, my yolk looks pretty good, right? My favorite time, time to taste. I have my handy dandy Star Wars tasting spoon. I'm gonna get myself a nice piece with a little bit of egg and give it a try. It totally brings me back. I got it on my face. <laughs> Totally brings me back to, to picnics and barbecues with my grandmother. What I love about this potato salad, it has a little bit of vinegar bite. Uh, the potatoes aren't falling apart. They have some bite to them. And that egg and mayonnaise mix just makes it kind of like perfectly rounded and creamy. Um, I don't know why. This is the way potato salad should be to me. Uh, maybe just because it's part so like part of my memories as a kid. Tell me about how your family makes uh, their potato salad. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We have a PO box down there as well. I wanna thank our Patreon patrons for supporting us. Thank you so much. And that is my Nanny Proto's potato salad. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.